<laughs> All right. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our certificate workshop. Uh, today we are learning about Antigua and Barbuda. 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 Um, so again, please um, forgive me for any mispronunciation. Um, I had somebody just ask me about the training on vouchers. Um, so we're going to be doing that again. Voucher training on the 25th. So just watch the chats, but it's the 25th at 5 p.m. Um, the vouchers, guys, are something that you can use to help promote your business. Um, we do have a voucher um, uh, Facebook page that you guys can join. Um, it's open to everybody. So just something else to kind of help you to build your business. Again, it's a new year, guys. Get out there, volunteer. Let's help each other grow, right? Um, you know, get new clients, help people go on right. vacation. That's the main thing. Get everybody going and and seeing, you know, making these memories. Um, and so right here is the voucher one. Um, again, we'll be I'll be posting the picture of the training. Okay, this is called the vouchers. Um, I'll share the link with you. Uh, make sure when you uh, join the groups, you um, you uh, answer the questions. Otherwise, you will not be approved. Okay, um, but this is nice because again, people will go in here and share ideas and stuff. Um, you know, share re ways that you've used your voucher. Like I always say, you know, do a, um, and we're not doing the voucher training today. I'm just sharing with you. Uh, but um, like do a, uh, uh, you know, a fishbowl and have them fill out an interest card. And then you put, you know, win a, you know, three, four, seven night cruise, taxes and fees apply, of course, or a seven night resort stay, or like I tell people on, on Facebook, anybody that gives me a quote this month or anybody that books with me will get a certificate for a cruise, taxes and fees apply, okay? Because you never want to say free. But when you do these fishbowls and stuff, you have them fill out an interest card, right? And then um, they put their name, their email. Are you interested in becoming an, a travel agent and saving money on travel? Or are you interested in a quote? And then when you get home, guys, you've got 100 leads, right? Um, half of them are possible business partners. Half of them are um, are clients. Again, with our company, you only need six business partners to cover your monthly. So why not, right? And you get 10% commission from what they book. So that's always nice. Any way you can earn money. Um, but those clients then, guess what? Now you got these new clients. You follow up with them. Everybody, you you know, they say, you call them up and you say, hey, Joy, great seeing you today at the farmer's market or at the wedding expo. You entered to win the seven night cruise. Well, congratulations, Joy, you won. You wanted to know about the um, how to make money in travel. We actually have a live meeting, a live informational meeting coming up. Let me send you that information and then we'll chat after. Or you call up Jackie and say, hey, Jackie, great seeing you today at the farmer's market. You um, entered to win the seven night resort stay. Well, congratulations, you won. So see, everybody wins. They think they're special. And then it gives you a reason to follow up with them also. Okay. Just kind of wanted to share how those work. But we're getting back to our certificates now. So if you want to learn more about the vouchers, again, I put the chat in there. And um, we're doing another training on the 25th. But I have all these trainings. Um, now that the cost has been raised, would we still? Yes, because the the um, bronze is still over $100 for residual income. So it does still cover it. Um, so that's that's good. You're welcome. Um, also, my YouTube guys, every training we do are in here. Uh, we just finished La Collection. Guess what? You get a two free nights at their resorts. So if you haven't done this, please do it because everybody got a voucher to get their two free nights. I went last year to the Live Aqua in um, Cancun. Amazing, amazing resort. Uh, Rick, my boyfriend, did his training. We're going to do um, Punta Cana, I think, this year. Um, check it out. It's amazing. But as I was saying, uh, we're doing Aruba today, guys. So Aruba, I did the training with a group of you guys. And um, they had set a invitation because as i said as you finish these trainings you're going to get invited on lunch and learns dinners fam trips so i got invited to a training for aruba and guess what they gave away a fam trip and guess who won i did 
So um, I get to go on a fan trip this year with them. So again, you never know, um, and it's a learning process. And if you don't know what a fam trip is, it's where you get to go and experience firsthand these resorts, these places, these amazing destinations. And while you're there, you're of course on social media, letting people know about these beautiful destinations, okay? So um, again, stay learning. You can do these all on your own. Um, this spreadsheet that I have here, that's in our certificate workshop, um, has a lot of the training programs up top here that again, you can get in and do it um, uh, together, okay? Or, you know, with your own team or by yourself, okay? But uh, I always tell people do it, you know, as a group, because when we take the tests, some of them are pretty hard. So when we have a group, like today we have 30 of us, um, it kind of helps when we can help each other. Um, the, the one that gives the two free nights is right here. It's La Collection. Okay, right here. We did part one here and then part two here. Okay, yeah, Japan, exactly. Japan just sent out a thing, $700 includes airfare. Um, if they were, you had to apply and they were giving it away, for, I think, to 10 people, right, or something. So, yeah, but I have a wedding I'm going to in March, so I couldn't mm -hmm. I didn't apply. Eight, eight people and you have to have it paid by the 10th of this month. Got it. Okay. But for $700, guys, to Japan, I think it was a five-day trip or something, um, you can't beat it. But like I said, um, you know, take advantage you'll get invites, like Teresa said, just by doing these trainings. So stay plugged in. Let's have some fun. And uh, is everybody signed in and ready to start our Antigua and Barbuda training? If not, let me know. Do we have any brand new people here today? Brand new, brand new. Um, if so, again, welcome. Um, what we do is we do these trainings together. So what I want you to do is is do two separate, either two separate screens or on your phone, go along with me and then get on your computer because you want to take the test with us, okay? So here is the link to register. When you register, um, if it asks, I don't think it asked me this time, um, it asked me like what is, um, who is uh, uh, your, um, what are you, your travel agent, okay? There's the link. It's kind of a long one. Here it is again. Um, but you'll go in and register up here. You'll do a registration. It'll say check your email. Okay. All right. Um, Sharon, if you want, um, yeah, again, you may not be able to even apply if you never took the training. Okay. Um, but we'll get that over to you. Again, here's my phone number, guys. If you guys ever need anything, have questions, et cetera. Um, again, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, hold on. Let me get this then. Hold on. Ah, oh, where am I? Antigua here. Okay. All right. Yes. And again, welcome all new agents um, and veteran agents who's ever here. We appreciate you. Um, lots of trainings to go to. I do these on um, uh, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. So you guys can join me anytime. Um I'm on a training right now and take the bread and the clothes. They're on the table outside. Okay, I love you. Love you, buddy. Okay, sorry. My daughter always interrupts me. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so you're going to go in and register. Again, if you're brand new, follow along. Um, make sure you stay plugged in. Some of them can take a half hour. Some of them can take six hours, okay? Disney, six to eight hours. Princess Cruise, 10 to 12 hours. But guess what? With Princess, you get a free cruise, three-day to a 30-day cruise. Take advantage. All right. So again, let me know. Um, also in the chat box, please put to everyone, okay? Um, put the chat to everyone because if I'm reading, um, you want to make sure you get your questions answered. We've got a lot of amazing agents here that will help each other, okay? Um, so today we're doing Antigua, tomorrow we're doing Princess Alaska Expert, and we're going to do Charisma Hotels on Saturday. Um, Fridays are going to be our cruise experts, and then um, Thursdays in, um, we're doing Jamaica next week, Australia the next week, and so on. So it's kind of fun to learn. So if you guys have anything or any place you're going and you want to learn about it, let me know and I'll put it on the schedule for next month. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to um, 
<clears throat> Antigua and Barbuda, learn about the white sand beaches, blue waters, and the sun that shines down on Antigua and Barbuda. Um, explore, okay? So here's courses, resources, gallery, and hotels. Here's modules. So we have exams. Welcome to Antigua. History and culture, cuisine, and beautiful Bar Barbuda. Where to stay, romance, adventure. <laughs> so this one may, may end up taking us a while. So we'll see. Okay, so um, we'll get started. Uh, destination highlights, triple wins for Antigua and Barbuda 2024 Caribbean Travel Awards. Anybody been to um, Antigua or Barbuda? Barbuda? If not, hopefully you'll go now. All right. Um, again, if you're just getting on or registering, don't worry. Just listen. Uh, when we get to the test part, we'll make sure that everybody's in and ready to go. Okay. Um, we don't want to miss anybody. So again, um, here's the link. Register here. Okay. I and then you'll get one. to where I'm at. I want to add, like, I did one of them, um, the first part, like uh -huh. this past week. Uh -huh. And some of the questions are very tricky. One mm -hmm. of them does not have the right answer. Okay. And <laughs> it does not have the right answer, but you, that's what I said. So don't, I don't want anybody like to afraid if you get it wrong, because one of them definitely does not have the right answer. <laughs> Thank you. So that's also, as I said, they're, some are they're tricky, they're hard. So when we have people to help each other, that helps because that way you don't have to, I mean, one time I think we did like the cruise for princess we did it, had to redo it like three or four times. Okay. All right. Um, somebody, Tura, you have a question? Do you want us to be logged in? Yeah, you want to be logged in because um, as I was saying earlier, um, you wanted to either do two split screens and sign in both sides, or you know, you or you sign in on one, but you follow me on another. So you're on Zoom with me. And then you sign in to do the test because if you just follow me, you'll have to do the test later and you're not going to get credit and you're not going to get all the promotions and stuff like that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So again, right now we're just going to watch videos. I'm going to read, but when we get to the test, hopefully you guys are all ready to go when we get there. Okay. Again, if anybody has questions, put in the chat box to everyone. All right. Let's watch a short video. You might have heard of Antigua, but let me tell you, Barbuda is where it's at. We got coral reefs in one of the biggest bird sanctuaries in the Western Hemisphere. Barbuda? Really? We got Nelson's Dockyard, English Harbor, and we got the party. Yeah! There is more people here than on your entire island. Exactly, man. You come to Barbuda, you get four beaches to yourself, and not just beaches, pink, Sand beaches. Pink sand? I'll take swimming with stingrays. I'd rather be liming here, man. This rum punch, don't miss. You know what else don't miss? Sheer rocks. Winner of best restaurant in the Caribbean. Three times. Well, trust me, people said our lobsters are pretty good too. This lobster. These waves. These puns. Antigua. Gotta be Barbuda. Valley Church Beach. Oh, really? Antigua. Come on. Barbuda. What? Antigua. Nah. Really? Are you serious? Why choose when you can have both? Okay. So, um, they asked if you have to do these with me. No, again, guys, these are, I just do this as a group because it's kind of fun to get to know the other agents and kind of do it together. Like I said, if there's a test, um, who doesn't like help on their test and stuff. Um, but it's just something that I do to kind of, again, learn about the um, different vendors and stuff. And again, meeting other agents and stuff. Okay. So yes, you can do these all on your own if you want. Okay, or if you have to jump off. But I always tell everybody, try to get in and, and complete them because, like I said, you get a lot of amazing things. People want um, backpacks and, and luggage and gift cards and stuff. All right, so we're going to start here at the modules. All right. <clears throat> so welcome to Antigua and Barbuda. Okay, Barbuda. Okay, oh, this looks like it's going to be a long one. Blah. All right, so welcome. The Twin Island Gems of Eastern Caribbean 
um, Antigua with an area of 281 square miles is the larger of the two islands with most of the population tourism product. Although relatively flat, <clears throat> the island's highest point and boggy peak also renamed Mount Obama, which stands at 402 meters. Barbuda, with an area of 159 square kilometers, is a nature lover's island getaway with miles of untouched beaches and a large frigate bird sanctuary. While the two islands are 63 kilometers apart, they constitute a single nation with one central government. And again, guys, the reason we do these is to learn to sell to your customers, right? To, so you become a specialist on these amazing places. And when people want to know, guess what? They're going to go to Anastasia or they're going to go to Barbara. Hey, tell me about it. All right. <clears throat> so world renowned for its 365 powdery white sand and pink sand beaches, one for every year, every day of the year as well as that extra one for the leap year. Locals will happily, happily remind you the destination has so much more to offer visitors with world-class restaurants, water sports, nature, tours, and rich history and culture. Warm and dry for the most of the year, it's a great sun destination for those seeking relaxation and rejuvenation. The islands are home to a warm and hospitable population of about 96,000 people whose makeup uh, reflects the colonial history and migration of the region. Most Antiguans and Barbudans are descendants of enslaved people brought from Africa, while other large groups consist of expatriates from Europe, North America, Middle East, and Asia who arrived today or arrived later. Today, the nation is a harmonious melting pot of cultures, languages, and cuisines from all around the world. Has anybody been here, guys? If not, you probably want to go after we get done with here. Okay. Um, Antigua and Barbuda is located in the heart of the Caribbean island chain, a location which earned its strategic position in the former British West Indies. Same trade winds which brought new world explorers centuries ago now bring leisure sailors, most notably during the annual Antigua Sailing Week in late April. The Sir VC Bird International Airport is accessible via direct flights, from major cities including New York, Miami, Toronto, and London, and visitors flying from other regions can get here through those hubs. Across the nation, visitors will spot the colorful national flag gently flapping in the island breeze. Um, the national flag of Antigua Barbuda was designed by renowned artist Sir Reginald Samuel. The depiction of the sun represents the dawning of a new era. Uh, Black represents the African heritage and rich soil, and the blue represents hope. The flowing colors of gold, blue, and white represent Antigua and Barbuda's natural assets of sun, sea, and sand. Pronounced V-shape stands as a symbol um, of victory, while red represents the lifeblood of the nation's enslaved forefathers and the dynam dyna dynamism <laughs> of its people. All right, so Antigua and Barbuda is a destination rich in heritage and culture dotted with world-class luxury resorts, Beautiful vistas inhabited by warm, friendly people waiting to share their home with visitors. Remember in Antigua and Barbuda, the beach is just the beginning. Cool, Natasha. Are you going to send them here? Again, it'll help you to share more information. All right. Watch another video. Boy, I'm going to turn the music yeah. up a little. If it's too Shorty much, let me nice. know. Boy, yeah. See the black in the flag that you see. For the people, for the strength, for the unity. See the blue that is blue as the sea. So pure and so clean, so much serenity. Anything that you want, you can find it. Bocha, yeah. bocha, yes sir, yes sir. Forget your troubles and come, come take a load off your shoulder. Tell me what do you see? Wouldn't it be nice to be bathing in the sun? Antigua, me come from. 365, we have beaches all around. Antigua, me come from. Come on down if you wanna have some fun. Antigua, me come from. Let's keep on grooving. Disappear from your shoulders When your feet touch the ground Feel the energy Feel the richness and the culture that surrounds you So delicious is the foods and its variety And if you want to escape This is the place to be Oh yes Enjoy the sun and the beach And the sweet cold breeze Tell me how do you feel Wouldn't it be nice to be bathing in the sun And tea got me come from 365 we have beaches all around And tea got me come from Come on down if you wanna have some fun And tea got me come from Yes, Chris. Oh, that's it. 
we have beaches all around. And tea got me come from. Come on down if you wanna have some fun. And tea got me come from. Let's keep on grooving till we're upside down. And tea got me come from. Oh, hey, hey. And tea got me come from. Do be be. Hey. All right. So we got some people that are lost. We have some people that are, are asking. And again, it's a new year. We got new people here. So uh, let me go ahead and share a couple things real quick with you guys. Okay. So first off, we do these certificate workshops. Um, I do them Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. Uh, we do different ones. Fridays are usually my cruise days. We we get certified in cruises and stuff. So today we're doing Antigua. Um, just real quick, I'll show you. We have our certificate workshop program here. And as you see here, we've got the flyer that shows all my trainings for the month with the links. Okay. If you're not part of this group, again, I'll share the link with you and then sign up for it. You can see it here. And then I usually post in Evolution Enterprises, Rising Tide, Travel um, Access Academy, and Certificate Workshop and Marketing Ideas, okay? Um, so I usually post and let you guys know, you know, today we're doing this, tomorrow we're doing this, et cetera. But you can plan in advance. You can also um, do these all on your own. Like I said, don't, you know, don't wait around. If you want to do them, do them on your own. Um, here's a list of everything that I've done already. As you see, we've been doing it for about two years, two and a half years. We're going to start Disney again. If you haven't got certified with Disney, it's a six hour course. We will be doing that again together. Um, as I talked about earlier, La Collection, guys, we just did that. You get two free nights. Anytime you register with a vendor, you always, company will always be Archer Travel. We're, we're a travel agency. Archer Travel has been in business over 70 years. They are the, the, the per, where you put for agency. Archer Travel and the IATAN number. When it asks for agent, it will always be your information. Okay. Again, um, if you're just registering, we just listened to some videos. We read, um, it looks like we do have a first exam. Okay. So um, if you're just registering and stuff, don't worry. We will put the answers in the chat box also. Okay. Um, but as I said, make sure you complete these courses because I won a free trip to Antigua. Um, they sent me a training after or a, a they do kind of like like we're doing now. Just got on and said, hey, guys, this is the specials we're doing. And by the way, I'm going to do a drawing right now. Oh, Marnie Hernandez, you won. <laughs> um, no, you can book anything you want. All these are, Lisa, are learning tools. They're a way to learn about these different, become a specialist. But no, you as long as you have done your registration and certification with Archer, you can book anything you want. You don't have to be certified with those vendors to book. Okay. So yeah, keep that in mind. These are just learning tools to, to help us to sell better. All right. So let's go ahead and do our first exam. Again, guys, if you're just registering, don't worry. Don't jump out. Don't get scared. We're here. Okay. All right. Is my pop-up? The not exam on? is after. You gotta oh, finish so it doesn't allow module. you to take yes. it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. So we'll go to the next module. Thank you. All right, so we did this one. Now we're gonna go to history, okay? So that's good, you have time, you can listen. And if anybody else wants to volunteer to read, I'm always for that. <laughs> All right, so Antiguans and Barbudans boast a rich, vibrant culture shaped by our African heritage, British colonial history, uh, modern influences. This hey, is Martin. evident. Uh -huh. Each section has its own quiz at the bottom. So you have to, like, when oh, we did, just I did. Know, I, just, I clicked on it, but it didn't pop up. Did you have a pop-up uh, on it? Yeah. Uh, somebody else, I don't know. It's a pop-up blocker, maybe? Yeah, let me check that. Um, okay, where's our pop-up? Mine is not popping up, and it doesn't have a pop-up blocker. Okay. It just takes me to the next slide. Okay. Anybody else have the test available? I have the test. No, me. no, I don't. I think we have to do the modules on the side first yeah. to get to yeah, the my, test. Uh, my exam came up. Yeah. My exam came up as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, I also watched the video though on my screen. Okay. Hmm. Where's the pop-up blocker on here? Hold on. 
Again, learning process, guys. <laughs> I did not watch the video on mine. Okay. Yeah, um, a lot of times you do have to click on everything to, to let it um, move forward. But um, there's a pop-up blocker. Sorry, guys. New tab, passwords and autofill, history, download, bookmarks, extensions. Yours came up too. Okay. Um, Try and click on yours again, Marnie. I think you were good. I would just go back. It goes like it's loading. Yeah, I'm done. Hmm. I had to Scroll click mine a couple again. times. I had to click mine a couple of times for it to come up. Okay. Yeah. If not, maybe I'll try a different browser. Let me try going into mm -hmm. this other thing. Sorry, guys. We'll get this. We'll get this. All right. So it gives you guys time to catch up. Hold on. Um, let me clear my history, maybe. Do, do, do. You may have to close some of your other screens as well. Now I just find out what I think. Ah. Okay. That certificate back office Canva. All right. Yeah, and again, just so you guys know, some of these are, um, some of these courses are kind of crazy, so. All right, let's try again. If not, maybe we'll share our screen so you guys can at least get the course, the test done. All right, so we did this our module. Mom, looks like it's coming up. All right. Okay, guys. So again, how did you um, get it to do that, Marnie? I, I cleared my, my history and I also closed up a lot of windows. Yeah, so, I did that earlier. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe try it on your phone, guys. Again, some of these courses could be a little finicky. Um, but it, yeah, refresh your screens too. Yeah, that helped me. Okay, and if not, at least you know take down the answers, and then when you finally get to get in, you know, hopefully you can do it. Took eight times. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. All right. So. Um, let's go ahead and start the exam. And again, guys, um, oh, 10 questions. Jeez. Okay. So what is the distance between Antigua and Barbuda? And again, a lot of questions, <laughs> you may not have the same questions that I have. So again, that's why it, it's fun when we help each other. Okay. All right. Anybody know the distance? How many miles between the islands? I think it was 62 miles or... No. Well, it was, I think it was in kilometers, wasn't it? I thought, I thought it was 60 something kilometers. 28 miles. 28 miles, Barbara says. All right. Um, yeah, guys, again, this isn't like you're, you're banned if you miss the test. Okay. It'll let you keep taking it till you pass. Okay. It may, sometimes it makes you go back through the course. Um, but yeah. All right. So everybody's saying 28 miles. Let's try 28 miles. Let's see. Okay, so I guess we won't find out till it's till it's over. Uh, yeah, again, the questions can be out of order, so take note. All right, the beaches on Antigua and Barbuda have blank sand. The pink sand, white right and pink sand, pink and white sand. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, all right. So the sand is pink and white. Majority of the population is a European descent. Mm. False. False. Okay. While Antigua is 108 square meters, how many square meters is Bermuda? 
think somebody answered that up here, right? 108, no, wow, okay, that was one of the questions that you had. Okay, perfect. 159, 62, okay. All right, so as I said, 62 guys. <clears throat> Again, this is why we do it together. Antigua and Barbuda, located in the heart of the Caribbean island chain. That is true, right? You guys agree? Okay. <laughs> Highest point of Antigua and Barbuda is Boggy Peak, Mount Obama, which rises approximately 13, 19 feet. All right. Thank you, Gina. <clears throat> what is the name of the main airport in Antigua and Barbuda? I remember that one. Four, number this one, serve for bird. Okay, thank you. All right, when is the Antigua Sailing Week? I know when that is, it's April, my birthday. Happy birthday. Randy, can I say something? Uh-huh. Um, can the persons that are not getting in, can they log off, log off of the, the site and log back in? Because that's what I had to do in order for mine to come up, my test to come up. Perfect. Okay. Do you hear that, guys? If you can't get the test to load, just sign out and sign back in. And, and you saw that's what I did also. I signed out and signed back in. So maybe that'll help. Thank you. And again, if you get to this test or you have questions, let us know. We're putting the answers in here, but we want everybody to pass. Okay. All right. So again, thanks for helping. Um, population of Antigua is approximately the 96,000, right? <clears throat> and the bird sanctuary, it has a bird sanctuary where bird watchers and nature lovers can visit. Is it true? All right. Let's see how we did. Anybody have any different questions? Hey, you have answered the questions for this module. Jackie, you have different questions? Let me know so we can help you. Yay, we got 10 out of 10, guys. The, that's April. So the sailing week is in April. Uh, yes, okay. Antigua was once a British colony. I'd say yes, right? Isn't that true, guys? Yes. Yes. I would say true. Anybody else? It says I'm 70 percent. Oh. You have to pass so, by I'm, 70. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. What was the distance between Antigua and Barbuda again? Barbuda. I, I think it um 28 months. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What's the name and of the airport? the airport? The airport is the bird, the SB bird, Sir VC bird. What was the population? 96,000. Sailing week is April. You guys could take a screenshot here also. Oh, okay. And how many okay. square world, square miles is Barbuda? Uh, twenty oh square miles oh. is that's down here. Population. The point. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh, okay, sixty-two. Sixty-two. Um, false for the um, false for the uh European. Um, Barbara, try signing completely out and clearing your browser and then try signing back in. Can you, I'm uh -huh. sorry, you just, I just want to take a screenshot. So okay. I got, let me go to screen. the top. Okay. So there. I got that one. Okay. And we'll go down here. Six to 10. Oh, you keep moving it. <laughs> okay. Can you scroll down? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, Barbara, you want to take a screenshot too? So when you get in, if not, um, we can help you. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Oh, one sec, okay.
Anybody else need help? Okay, you're welcome. All right, so here, take this screenshot, six through 10. Let me know when you're done. Okay, and then one through five. There you go. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to start with da, da, da. What's our next one. History and culture. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, ready? So um, a vibrant shape by the African heritage, British colonial history and mod modern influences. This is evident in a number of ways, such as language, cuisine, architecture, religion, music, sporting interests, art and festivals to include Antigua's carnival celebrations. Before the arrival of Europeans in the Caribbean, Antigua and Barbuda was inhabited by the Siboni and Siboni stone people, peaceful Amer Amerindians who traversed the island chain from South America. Researchers revealed that they were very proficient in making stone tools and shell jewelry, remnants of Amerindian Civilization have been found at Greencastle Hill National Park, the home of Antigua and Barbuda's very own megaliths, often dubbed the Stonehenge of the Caribbean. The indigenous inhabitants called Antigua Waladili, a word which has been transformed into the modern Wadali, Wadali. Uh, which is what many locals call the island today, and is also the name of the island's local la lag lager beer. Antigua's sister island, Barbuda, is ind indigenously known as Wa Amoni. Again, I apologize for mispronunciation. Destination's current name is the result of Christopher Columbus' viewing of Antigua in 1493 on his second voyage to the Caribbean, where he reportedly named it after a church in Seville, Spain, Santa Maria de la Antigua. Antigua remained uncolonized until 1632 when the British took control where neighboring Barbuda was first colonized in 1678. Huh? Okay, sorry. Betty Ho, um, Betty, Betty's Hope, named after his daughter. Today, the sugar mill and other surrounding, and that may be a test question, sugar mill and other surrounding infrastructure at Betty Hope's have been preserved and are open to visitors. The main town in Barbuda still upholds the name Codrington. During the colonial era, Antigua was also strate strategically important for the British Navy. Antigua's naval dockyard, also referred to as Nelson's Dockyard in English Harbor, positioned on the southern side of the island, was an important location for monitoring the French territory of Guadalupe. Also, the harbor is naturally protected on all sides, making it well suited for docks, ship docking ships during tropical storms and hurricanes. The Georgian dockyard was named after British war hero Admiral Horatio Nelson, who lived there from 1784 through 1787. On the 8th of March, 1744, an explosion ripped through English Harbor. A tent storing gunpowder ignited, killing eight enslaved African men. Their names were Billy, London, James So. Karam Karamati, uh, Cuomono, and um, Dick, Joe, Scipio, and Jano. Named after the date of the explosion, the 8th of March 2020 commemoration project is a collaborative, community-oriented, interdisciplinary research project headed by the Heritage Department of National Parks. The goals of the project are to recover and commemorate the names and lives of the enslaved and free Africans who labored in the dockyard and lived in the English harbor and to celebrate the continuous cultural landscape that is the English Harbor and Falmouth Harbor communities. Antigua and Barbuda is known for its strong nautical heritage and has created renowned sailors and yachting industry pioneers to include Sir Hugh Bailey, Franklin Brothright, GOH, and Carl James. Today, the Antigua Naval Dockyard and its related archeological sites make up the country's UNESCO World Heritage Site. Fully restored and working dockyard is complete with the hotel, restaurants, museum, Shirley Heights, and blockhouse, part of an old fort. Remnants of other fortresses built by the British include Fort James, Fort Barrington, Fort Berkeley. They make for interesting hikes and sightseeing. 
and other remains of the island, British past include the dozens of Anglican, Ang Angli I'm sorry, Anglican <laughs> churches dotting the landscape, most notably the 170 plus year old Cathedral of uh, St. John the Divine, which sits triumphantly on a hill overlooking the capital city of St. John. After the abol uh, abol abolition, abolition, gosh, I'm sorry, I can't talk, of slavery on August 1st, 1834, commemorated annually with the Antigua Carnival celebrations July through August, could be a test question, Antigua received the political independence from Great Britain in 1981. Under the leadership of then Premier and the country's first Prime Minister, Dr. Sir Vere Cornwall Bird Sr., affectionately known as Papa Bird, who is national hero and considered the father of the nation. The VC Bird International Airport, where visitors arrived, is named in his honor and a stately bust of him sits in the downtown St. John's near public market. And today in Antigua Barbuda, the beach is just the beginning. Visitors to the destination are encouraged to immerse themselves in the local culture, visit our museums in St. John's and Nelson's Dockyard and Interpretation Centers for a deeper understanding of our people and maritime heritage. Be sure to sample our delicious local cuisine featured on our Eat Like a Local map. While available all year round, but more prominent during Barbuda's Caribbean in May, the Antigua's Carnival, the Caribbean's greatest summer festival in July and August, enjoy the enchanting sounds of our music. Take steep steel pan lessons with Hell's Gate Steel Orchestra, one of the oldest steel bands in Antigua. Head to Point and Villa to learn about the Iron Band. Enjoy Calypso from our greats to include the Burning Flames, King Obstinate, and King Short Shirt. <clears throat> Let the infectious beats of the soca music um, by our carnival party, Monarchs, Claudette Peters, Tian Min Winter, and Ricardo Drew put you in a party mood. Take in an international cricket, cricket match at the Sir Vivian Richards Cricket Stadium or a game of Rari, traditional African um, game of Rari played with in Antigua and Barbuda is said to be one of the most challenging mind games and Trevor Simon is said to be its grand master. Take a walking tour through our cultural sites, explore the city, statues of national heroes, surveyor, Seabird Sr. and Sir Isaac Vivian Richards. Our art studios feature works of artists such as Heather Dorham, attend the festivals or just interact with the friendly people within our vibrant communities. The country's other national heroes are Prince Klaus, a revolutionist, Dame um, Georgina Nelly Robinson, an educator and former prime minister, Sir Lester Bryant Bird and Han, Winston Balden Spencer. Antigua and Barbuda is home to many of more talented most talented, creative, innovative, and forward-thinking personalities. On a visit, you'll be sure to hear some of the Antiguans and Barbudans who have made significant contributions to the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. And again, for any new people, um, once you get done with all this, you should get a certificate. And that's what I was talking about. You get to share that on social media and say, hey, guys, look at me. I'm now a specialist with Antigua, and I can book this amazing location for you. Okay? Let's try again. Okay, second test. Everybody ready? Antigua's UNESCO World Heritage Site is called the Betty's Hope. What do you guys think? <laughs> is everybody on the test yet? Mine is still loading. All right, give it a couple minutes. No worries. I think it's the Naval D Dockyard, but I'm double checking. The Naval Dockyard? Yeah, I'm double checking now. It's the Naval Dockyard. Perfect, okay, thank you. Um, Robin, yeah, the questions a lot of times are, are mixed up okay so just write this down take a picture etc um and we'll get to your questions okay all right uh lisa if somebody can share lisa the the link that we're on here let me do it um we're on the second portion now okay okay 
All right. What is the name of the island's local la lager beer? Was it the Symphony? Red Stripe. I'm kidding. <laughs> Island beer, Antigua beer, drive. <laughs> you know, Google's your best friend. Indigenous tribe. Symphony it's the one with the ducks. It's the, oh no, wait, it's not there. Yeah, the what what I'm seeing in the text uh, is not on the list. It's is that Mala, the one she said was Mala, Mala, Maybe Mala. so. Put Antiguan beer because it okay. says Antigua. Okay, we'll so try I that. think that's probably the best one. Okay, all right. Then not not uh, Antigua now is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Well, we just answered that, right? So if we got it wrong, we're gonna get it wrong twice, right? <laughs> Isn't that what we chose for the World Heritage Site? All right. Visitors to Antigua and Barbuda can enjoy a game of international cricket at... Cricket Stadium? <laughs> Recreational grounds. I always say the stadium. Okay. We'll try it. Antigua and Barbuda's indigenous names are Waladi and Wamona. Is that true? I think so. Okay. Antigua and Barbuda is home to talented, creative people. I'd say all the above. Was it all the above? <laughs> the Cathedral of St. John the Divine is how old? Don't know. How old is St. John the Divine? 125 years. Well, that doesn't show. Began making it over 125 years old. It says, uh, 150 years old. We don't have 100. <laughs> I guess maybe 100. It says, <laughs> it says, um, 170 plus years old. Okay. In the training. Yes. Thank you. I'm trying to catch up with you guys. Um, can you guys refresh me as far as the beaches? Um, what color is the sand? Pink and pink and white. Okay, cool beans. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Pretty good. Move on. Antigua and Barbuda received independence in what year? Eighty one. Thank you. Antigua received political independence under the leadership of hmm. is it the bird guy? Is that why we have him at the <laughs> airport? Uh under leadership of then Premier Prime Minister Sir Ver sorry, I said sir. Dr. Sir Beer Cornwall Bird. Okay. So it is him. Okay, thank you. And last but not least, Antigua's carnival is held during what months? August and September. I think it's July on August. July and August. All right, let's try it out. Okay, got nine right. Okay, so if anybody, does anybody have any that weren't on here? So yeah, here, several of mine aren't on there. Okay, what's what's your question? Hey, mine's not on there either. Okay. Oh, I see. don't have any questions. I'm just looking them up, but I just know that what you had, some of them I don't have. Okay. I have one. Okay. English Harbor is positioned on the blank side of the Southern. Island. Southern, thank you. Yes, I had that question and I looked it up. 
Um, I have one too, guys. Okay. Um, I have one that says on the 8th of March, 2020, the National Parks Commemorative Project recognized Africans who worked within the dockyard. Is that true or false? That's false. Oh. Because that was just now, March of 2020, 8th of March, 2020. Antigua what is and Bar Barbuda's in indigenous names are... That's the Wally Wally to the two Wally things. Okay, true. What's the main town in Bermuda called? St. John's. Okay. St. Hey, John. Okay, thank you. I have one. Who, who were the um, indentuous people of Antigua and Barbuda? Sibony. Sibony, that's what I was thinking. Thank you. I have one too. It says the Nelson Dockyard is a working Jardian do uh, dockyard that has hotels, restaurants, and also a what shopping center, museum, skating ring, movie theater. Um, I think museum. it's a museum. Yeah, I just answered that question. I know I got it wrong. Man, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. I just submitted my no, it's museum. Yeah, it is museum. That is right. Perfect. Thank you. When is the um, I'm sorry, go ahead. When is the carnival held? I think that's a July through August, right? Let's see. Okay. Uh, carnival, July through August. Antigua and Barbuda International Airport is named after Father of the Nation. That's the bird. That's true. True. <clears throat> That's true. It's true. True. What was the answer for the bear? It was wrong. Um, it's supposed to be uh something else, but it's not in there. So we did Antigua. Wait, what are the I options? Driver, Antiguan, Sibony, or Island beer. Is it the island beer? Um, you can try it. We tried Antigua and got it wrong. But see, there's only one beer word in this document, so. Yeah. <laughs> the main town in Barbuda is called what? What was that? Uh, the main town in Barbuda is called. Is that St. John? Yes, yeah, no, John. it's not. No, it's, it's not. not. Oh, it's not. it should be probably English Harbor, but it's not St. John. John's. Harbor. Okay, they do have English. So we'll try that. You can find the following UNESCO. Okay, so the English Harbor is positioned on which side of the island? Southern. 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 Thank you. You can find the, the main at Antigua's UNESCO World Her Heritage Site. Oh, probably all of the above. Sorry. No, it's not. It's not. Oh. Mm -mm. Too late. <laughs> 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 when you guys said about the um, Antigua's Carnival is held during which months? I have missed it. Sorry, you guys. I was catching up with you guys from the previous July. Uh, July. July okay, cool beans. Thank you. You're welcome. The Cathedral of St. John. Oh, uh, never mind. I remember that one. What was number six on this, please? Um, can't see it. All the above mm. for the creative people. Oh, it was the, no, that's not what I have for number six. I have the traditional African game of Wari is played Antigua and Barbuda. Is it true or false? I it's thought that was false. true, right? Oh, it's false? Okay. It's false. Yeah, I got it wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it right. It's true. The cathedral is uh, um, 170. Nothing's so, that's the cathedral of St. Well, John. Well, there's a couple of questions regarding the cathedral. So we guys, um, we just got to pay attention because my number six question is about the something else. So, but it's true, right? Hmm. Or false? What's your, what's your question? It was actually somebody else's question. I was just double checking because I didn't know because I, I don't want to press continue and it'd be wrong. It was about the country. Uh, 
Go ahead. I have one more. What were the people profici proficient in making? Jeez. Is it beer? I, don't know I think it was number six on your guys. I don't have it on mine. So what's so, so ask the question as stone it's written tools. because some of the questions are different. Yeah, Nicole okay. said stone tools. Oh, okay. Yes, dockyard is working with Jordan. Yeah. Dockyard stone tools. That has hotels, restaurants, and also museum. shopping center, museum. Oh, museum. It was a museum. Thank you. My, I have a number seven that says which of the statement statements below about the Sid Sydney people is not accurate. They were proficient the in above. making stone. Okay. Thank you. Who were the indigenous people of Antigua and Barbuda? The Caribs. Saboni. Caribs. Caribs. Europeans or Africans? It's Caribs. Okay. I Google it. <laughs> oh, that's smart. <laughs> Antigua Carnival is L during which month? It's not Caribs. Okay, I didn't July, pass. August. I thought this somebody said um July, August, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Please try again. How do you go back and try again? I've... Just hit the button on the side to click back into the module. It's seven heat. Oh my goodness. However you pronounce it. Seven I have a question. <laughs> What is the name of the island's local lager beer? We don't know. Uh, again, we don't know. <laughs> okay. Try island beer. I don't know if anybody got it right. I tried island one. beer and it was wrong. Oh, okay. So it's, not, it's, 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 wrong. it's not island. So then it's the it's, first one. I think it's driver. Driver. No, it's W A D A D I. I think I it's believe. driver. Driver. This is okay. the one I got wrong every time. I don't really think. It was uh, island beer. Yeah, it's supposed no, to be island, island beer, but then it'll tell you that you got it wrong because it's My, actually yeah. the one that starts with a W. So, but I think it's actually, I think you have to click on driver for this one. And then when you get it right, it says the right answer. Well, I click on oh. the island beer because what, after uh, Marty said it wasn't the one that she had. I click on island beer and I'm looking at my test questions, my answers, and I have it right from Island Beard. What is the name of the Take island the being located? Did you guys get anything that received, um, <laughs> Antuika received political independence under the leadership of... Who? Yep, that, that was the Sir Bird. Okay, okay, okay. Because uh, I got that one wrong, so... Okay, well, I'm ready to move on. And the naval dockyard is a UNESCO mm -hmm. heritage, world heritage site. Correct. True, right? Yeah. Main town in Barbuda. Um, well, we said St. John, but they said it's a, the other one. The main town is Codrington. Okay. I'm reading it right here. Okay. All right. Does everybody pass? <clears throat> Good. Thank you. No, all. I'm going back through it now. I'm struggling. All right, I got it. it. Okay, so so just so everyone knows, the um the island what was what is the name of the island's local lager beer? Island beer was not the correct answer. So I got my and right. the traditional African game of war is played um, Antigua and Barbuda is actually boss. Um, Antigua's carnival is held during the months of um, July and August. July. Yeah. yeah, August and September was wrong. Let's so see. I attached my answers and I had several questions that you guys did not, uh, including cricket, uh, indigenous people, and another one, but it's in the comments. Thank you. And I, you can find I the still pass, but it's all good. Antigua's UNESCO World Heritage Site, uh, Shirley Heights Museums, Hotels, Restaurants, uh, or all of the above. I think I have museum. 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 I just posted the answer for the yes. lager beer, which it wasn't given to me as a choice on mine, the Wadadley. 
is the lager beer. And it, that was not a choice on my test. Yeah, that's what they said, that the one of the tests is wrong. <clears throat> one of yeah. the questions, it's not right. I what just are copied and pasted the line from the um, actual, from the text. So okay. it's up there. And Codrington is the city, by the way. Codrington, thank you. Codrington, yeah. Okay. Everybody good? Found, no, I'm struggling still. I found out there's two questions that it says you can um, choose museum. So I don't know which one now it is. <laughs> which okay, one? what question do you have? Uh, this one it says Read you can question. find a following uh, the Antigua's UNESCO World uh, Heritage Site. That is the um, the heritage site is the Antigua Naval Dockyard. No, it says Shirley Heights Heights Museum Hotel Restaurant. Oh. And then it said oh. all the up at the end on six. Read the full question. You can find the following in Antigua UNESCO World Heritage Sites. There's a bunch. I I I Google it, but so Sure. So what I do is I open the I open the page twice. So I have the words on one side, the test on the other side, and I do control F and you should be able to find your answers that way outside of the ones that are just completely wrong for the test. <laughs> but yeah. just do control F and you can find your answers. I just Google it and it says Antigua Guatemala. But well, I not... wouldn't Google it because Googling is not based on what's in the information. That's the thing, ideal. <laughs> yeah, Google will give you throw you off on your answers. It's gonna give you all the information regarding that situation instead of answering your question. Mm -hmm. Control F is like the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. Where do we do the control F at? So if you see C T R L, just hit that and then hit like F. So I don't know what kind of like um keyboard that you have, but some people. No, I mean, what doc are we uh, doing that on on the uh, video where the video is at to find the information? No, 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 no. So, so what we're saying is, you can open this web page twice. Okay. Put them side by side, <laughs> and then when you're going through the test, go to the go to the other side with the website and the information on that module, and Control F, and find the answers. Just put in a keyword and you can find the answers better that way. Who's still waiting on some answers so we can help you and, and move on? I'm sorry, I didn't get a hundred, but I passed. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Yay, congratulations. Anybody else still waiting? Everybody good? Marnie, can you up just a little bit? Move up? Yeah. Yeah, I can't see the bottom. That's Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody good? Again, they usually don't take this long. Usually the 10 questions are at the end, not at the end of each section. So, And they're usually a lot easier. So just so you guys know. <clears throat> so this one's a, a little longer one. All right. Everybody good? Everybody got your answers? Or copied? Yes, got it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and move on. Again, congratulations. So now we're on cuisine. Who's hungry? Hungry. All right. So <clears throat> cuisine. It would be a mist 
uh, opportunity to visit Antigua and Barbuda and not try their local dishes, many of which reflect the history of the country, resourcefulness, and Marian Indian and African roots of the people. In Antigua and Barbuda, colonial days passed when food was scarce. For the predominantly Black population, people made nourishment out of whatever they could grow or gather, and what might have otherwise been discarded as waste. The hearty national dish of Antigua and Barbuda, Bung Fungi, Fungi, and spelled, um, and also spelled fung, Fungi, um, and the pepper pot, birthed because of this notion. Fungi is made of cornmeal and okra, which is boiled and turned into a pot until thick, then swirled into a bowl until it forms a ball. Pepper pot is one pot stew traditionally made with spinach, eggplant peas, and other variety of meats, usually chicken and salted pork and beef. Dukana, another popular dish available in local restaurants is traditionally eaten on Good Friday, the end of Lent with salt fish. Dukana is made from a mix of grated coconut, sweet potatoes and spices wrapped in banana or sea grape leaves and boiled until cooked into a form, firm dumpling. Salt fish is in fact codfish, which has been dried and salted for pres pres preservation. It is prepared by soaking to um, <clears throat> remove some salt, sauteed with onions, peppers, tomato paste, and other seasonings. Also a common Sunday breakfast food item paired with wood oven um, baked bread, uh, boiled eggs, and chopped up mixed um, up mixed of boiled and mashed spinach, eggplant, and okra. Other local delicacies include rice and black pudding, seasoned rice, a one-pot rice and meat dish, conch water, goat water, ma sauce made from pork parts, feet, and ears. <laughs> Visit the market of street side fruit vendors and also inquire about the Antigua black pineapple, considered the sweetest pineapple in the world. When in Barbuda, be sure to ask the roast dump, ask for the roast dumpling filled with fat meat, the fresh seafood, and while the season, this um, while in season, the famous Barbuda spiny lobster. Antigua and Barbuda have a plethora of first-rate local international restaurants around the island, all of which are short car ride away. Um, it is possible to eat like a local <laughs> from roadside vendors who are all regulated by the Central Board of Health and are food handler certified. Visitors to Antigua and Barbuda can follow the Eat Like a Local map created specially um, to highlight local food spots during Antigua and Barbuda Restaurant Week. The map can be found on Antigua and Barbuda Restaurant Week website, right there, dot com. Visitors on island late um, October to early November should ensure they attend the popular Independence Food Fair. Could be a test question where um, every variation of local food can be tried, including sweet treats like tamarind balls, sugar cake, peanut brittle, hand churned, local ice creams, and local fruit juices. For a taste of the island, there are several rums, most notably the English Harbor and Integra Cavalier, and hot sauces like Susie's Granny Annie's, which are also available in international markets. For a comprehensive listing of where to dine, go to visit AntiguaBarbuda.com. All right, that was a quick one. Ready, ready? Come on, get your thinking caps on. Which of the following is not considered a local delicacy? The goat water doubles. See, they always try to tease you. What the heck? Hey, Everybody? Marnie. Uh -huh. I just came in. Where did you guys start so I can Hi. come in and join with you? Um, we've done two tests already. So oh. um, we've done Antigua, Barbuda, and history, and now we just finished cuisine. Okay. Are you going to record it? It is recorded, yes. So if you want to jump in and do this test with cuisine with us, we still have these more to go. Okay. Um, I will try to join in with you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. There's the link right there. All right. Thank so we think it's double. So thank you, Nicole. All right. Second, for the most comprehensive list of local foods and dining options, visit what website? Isn't it this one? Michelle, how was the training? Did you report? Yes, number four. It, the training one the um, Jody did with um, couples, yeah. it was awesome. And it yeah. is recorded. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Jody did a training too. So we, we will catch up. I will post that too. So make sure you watch that. All and right. There's going, oh, excuse me, Marty. There's also going to be a um, 
PowerPoint that she's going to get from the BDM and that's going to be posted out with us. So that will be available. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. All right, Blank and Cavalier are two of the most notable rums and produced in Antigua Barbuda. Was it English Harbor? I think it was that one. Do you guys agree? Hey, I'm gonna guess. Yes, okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Antigua Bermuda's local cuisine, primarily influenced by African, is it the roots. African roots, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the national dish Antigua called? That's a fungi, fungi, right? A pepper pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Visitors can utilize it, eat the look like a local map to find local restaurants in Antigua. Mm -hmm. Roadside vendors in Antigua are regulated by which body? The first one. Central Board of Health. Local chop up, which is traditionally eaten on Sunday, mixture of boiled and mashed spinach, eggplant, um, okra. Yep, spinach, eggplant, okra. Okay. Travelers visiting the destination at the end of October, early November should make a special effort to attend the blank which occurs during that period at the end of, end of Yep. Yep. All right. We're doing good on this one, guys. On Good Friday, local wills traditionally prepare and eat what? Is it rice pudding? Mm. I don't know. Dukana. Thank you. What was Dukana? Some kind of popular dish. It's the grated sweet coconut, potatoes. sweet potatoes, and got spices. spices. Okay. Yes. All, All right. right. So we got 10 out of 10. Let me know if anybody needs help. Let me know uh, if anybody has other questions. Yeah. Antigua and Barbada, Barbuda's pineapple yeah. is it, the black pineapple. Yeah. Sweetest oh, yeah. in the world. Can you scroll down a bit? Wow. Um, I have different probably. questions. Okay. Um, the most the um, revered food. local hot sauce, which can be found in Susie. international market, is Susie's. Oh, Susie's. Okay, thank that. you. <laughs> Pepper pot, which is part of the national dish, includes the following ingredients: so. uh, a, a typical mm -hmm. Sunday breakfast in Antigua and Barbuda consists of all of the following except. Uh, mm. wooden, oven baked bread, boiled eggs, chop up, and curry. No curry. No curry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have roadside vendor in Antigua and Barbuda are regulated by which body? Central. The board. first one. Central. Yep, board. Central. Okay, thank you. The pepper pot, which is a. It's not jerk. It's the number four. Jerk. Okay, thank you. The one for Good Friday was what? A Duncan and a. a Ducana? Ducana, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Ducana. Visitors can utilize the eat like and local map to find local restaurants in Antigua, true or false? True. That's true. You go up just a little. Traveling and visiting a destination at the end of October. What is a special That's effort the to attend the what festival? Uh, it's the top one. Um, the Independence, Independence Day. Day. Yeah. Yeah. When visiting oh, Barbuda, be sure to sample roast dumpling, Barbuda spinny lobster, fresh seafood, or all of above. All of the above. What is a pepper pot, which is the part of our national dish? Jerk. Including oh, jerk. Okay. Dukana saltfish is a traditional dish and can be found at a local restaurant, true or false? True. Local chop up, which is traditionally eaten on Sunday, is what? Dukan. Dukan. Wait, is they, that? They one have it? multiple spinach, no, spinach eggplant, eggplant, and okra. Number one. Oh. Spinach, okra. Number one, I think, for that one. Pepper pot, which is a part of our national dish, include all of the following ingredients except jerk. spinach, eggplant, chicken, or jerk. Thank you. Okay, what about blank and cavalier? Are two of the most notable rums produced? Um, Malibu, that's, that's English. English Harbor. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
uh, Decana. The following is not considered a local dynasty. Rice pudding, uh, goat. Fingers. I didn't have that question. Um, What's the question? What local the delicacy? delicacy? Not. Doubles. Doubles. Yeah. Doubles. Uh, uh, I'm working, mm -mm, Bubby. I'm working, Bubby. Uh, during the preparation of Ducana, what leaf is used to wrap the mixture? Mm. Um, is it a banana, banana leaf? leaf? Was it banana? Oh, no, banana. Banana, banana leaf. That's what we use in Puerto Rico for patelas. Or sea grape. It's they a... have they have sea grapes leaves. Sea grape. Banana it's... or sea grapes. Banana, sea Banana or sea grape leaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saltfish actually blank, which has dried and salted, has been dried and salted for preservation. Parrotfish, codfish, blind fish. <laughs> is oh it God. what? Is it cod? <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, um, saltfish, which has been, oh yeah, saltfish is in fact codfish. That's what it says, which has been dried, yeah. salted, codfish. Uh, okay. Yes. You had the hot pass question? You. A typical Sunday breakfast. Visitors can you always eat like a local. Oh, I saw that one at the bottom, I think. It consists of what the following, um, what is it? Y'all know? The Sunday food. breakfast food. Breakfast fast food item paired with wooden wood oven baked bread, bread, bread okay, boiled yeah, egg yeah. and chop up a mix okay. of boiled and mash spinach eggplant and okra. Okay, thank you. It's fungi is made of cornmeal and okra. The fungi, mm, yeah. fungi, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you yeah. so much, y'all. Okay. And the Good Friday, oh, the most that one is course? the is that the Ducana? That is Ducana. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you. Somebody else was saying something. What is the... Yeah, what's that hot sauce? The revered one? The most oh, Susie. Hot sauce? Thank you. During the preparation of Ducana, what leaf is used to wrap the mixture? Banana, guava, mango, or sour sauce? Banana, banana. because they only have banana yeah. and grape leaf. Yeah, banana. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Not a is it the codfish that's been dried and salted for preservation? Yes. True. Mm -hmm. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I think we're ready, Marnie. Yeah, does anyone else need help or we good? We good? We good? All right, sorry. Thanks everybody. <laughs> My daughter called. All right, so uh, beautiful Barbuda. Um, okay, we did the cuisine, right? Now we go mm -hmm. right here. All right. So now to learn about how to get there and what to do. So Barbuda, known for its endlessly long pink sand beaches, is home to about 2,000 inhabitants. The proud close-knit community primarily lives in the capital town of Codrington, Codrington, giving the rest of the island the feel of an unspoilt private paradise. Getting to Bermuda again, or Barbuda, sorry, um, pay attention, 90-minute ferries, three ferries, one company, Barbuda Express, Leeward Express, and Typhoon Express, um, Codrington Express Ferry, Summer Breeze. Several ways to get to Barbuda from Antigua, four 90-minute ferries, the Express, the Breeze, the Express, Express, Typhoon, Excellence, Catamaran, and Adventure Antigua run catered tours and chartered private excursions. You can get there by air through SVG Air, which operates small propeller aircraft and Calvin Air helicopters. Historic sites, Martello Tower, which resembles the sugar mills built in 1745. The 232-foot structure was used as a lookout for approaching warships and enabled messages <coughs> to be signaled back to the village. 
the cuisine there. Barbuda has many beachside restaurants. Wow, Moni's restaurant, Timbuk One Bar and Restaurant, and Uncle Roddy's restaurant are just a, some of the many options. There's even a Nobu restaurant in on Barbuda, Barbuda, dishing out its signature cuisine with an amazing beach atmosphere. On Saturdays, fried fish and roast dumplings are a must have local comfort food. Barbuda, which has subsisted on fishing for centuries, is known for its succulent, spiny lobster crabs and other seafood. Activities for those seeking unique beach spots. Barbuda is um, home to beautiful pink sand beaches, the result of the de degrade degradation of shells and coral. You can also find the historic Princess Diana Beach, named after the late Princess of Wales, who vacationed there on occasion. Though, um, the Barbuda is primarily flat. The highlands, approximately 124 feet in elevation, offers much scope for exploration. Two Foot Bay National Park is home to the Indian Cave and Highland Cave, while a trek further inland will unveil the magnificent Darby Cave. Barbuda's frigate bird sanctuary to the north of the island is the largest of its kind in the Western Hemisphere. You can get there by boat from the Codrington Dock. Locals recommend that September to April, remember that, is mating season for the forget birds and the best time to see the male man of wars inflating their signature red throats in an elaborate mating ritual. This is our national bird. What is the national bird? It is the, what are they called? The frigates. <laughs> Off Bermuda's northern coast are the sites of over 100 shipwrecks which ran am aground among the coral reefs. It is a great site for scuba diving and divers are advised to make arrangements out of Antigua. Alternatively, it, um, if certified and have their own equipment, a Barbudan skipper can take them out to the best dive sites. Other activities in Barbuda include buggy tour, paddle boarding, kayaking, fishing, kiteboarding, street side. Feel free to join in on a game of dominoes. Accommodations, you have Barbuda Bell, consists of nine bungalows along a 17-mile track of pink and white sand beaches, only accessible by boat. This ultra-exclusive, eco-friendly boutique hotel was built with low-impact bamboo and is solar-powered. Barbuda Cottages is a family-oriented property consisting of eight self-contained cottages as in another great option for stay over visitors, as well as Emerald Sands, a two-bedroom self-catering cottage, and historic Dulcin Dulcina apartment has eight rooms. For the budget-friendly traveler, there are several other guest houses and glamping on island, which can be booked for a more intimate and no-frills vacation. All right, test time. Let's go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Fried fish and roast dumplings are must-have local comfort food, which can be sourced in Bermuda on which day? Is it Sundays? Saturday. Saturdays, thank you. Barbuda population has over 2,000 inhabitants, true or false? True. Yep. Thank you. We'll get back shortly, sorry. Okay. True. Consider the best time to view them in all their glory. What period is the mating season for the magnificent frigate birds? September, no, April. Yep. Okay. Barbuda is a haven for scuba diving because the island is fringed by over and then the 100 shipwrecks for scuba diving. They do have 100 shipwrecks or over 100. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to guess that. Several ways to get to Barbuda and Antigua. Which of the options are correct? Flight with this, ferry service, day, all of the above? What do you guys think? Uh, yep, so it says there are several ways, four ferries, an express, breeze. Uh, What's the question? Sorry, I don't have that one. I'll look day trip. I don't know. All of the above. I'm going to say all the above. We'll see. Okay. Built in the 1740s as a lookout approaching war vessels, what is the name of the fortress in Barbuda with a unique sugar mill appearance? 
Martello. Martello. The power. Thank you. Off Bermuda's blank coast are the sites of 100 shipwrecks ran among. Is that the northern? Northern. Thank you. The highlands in Bermuda rises approximately 124 feet high. True. Yep. <clears throat> it takes 90 minutes to get to Barbuda from Antigua via the ferry. ferry. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, Barbuda ferry. is a sparsely populated island with most of the population living in Codrington. Okay. Codrington. Again, let's check your answers. 10 out of 10. Anybody got different ones? Yes. Of course, that would yes. be all different. <laughs> yep, me too. No worries. Let's answer them. <laughs> well, Which Barbuda. month is considered the peak of the frigate bird mating season? December. Peak in December. September. Peak in Thank December. Our Barbuda is home to beautiful beaches. It offers a unique opportunity to, to encounter the blank beach. Pink, golden, volcanic, pink. or white. I would pink. say pink. Okay. Uh, Barbuda has a series of caves to include all of the following. Except, Except bats. It's bats. Okay, thank you. Bats. Mm -hmm. I have one of Barbuda's something coasts are the site of over 100 shipwrecks. Which can which runs along among the coral reef, north, northern, southern, western, eastern, northern. Yeah, it's frozen and dry or something. I know. I just refreshed it. It's, it's and your it, clothes that may have your from your work. work. Yeah. Uh, besides Barbuda Bell, what other accommodation is located in Barbuda? Barbuda Cottages, Coco's mm -hmm. Hotel. Sandals Barbuda Resort. It's a cottage. Just mm -hmm. cottage. It takes okay, ninety minutes. You. It takes ninety minutes to get to Barb Barbuda. Barbuda. Oh, Barry. Barry. Okay. It really takes ninety minutes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Considered the, the best time to view them in all their glory. What period is the mating season for the magnificent frigate birds? That was September like, to April. September to, yeah. Okay, thank you. Which month is considered the peak of the Frigid Bird Maiden season? January? December. Okay. Being the first of its kind in the Caribbean, Barbuda is home to the ultra exclusive restaurant brand called. Oh, that's the last one. Um, no, no, the food. Food. Nobu, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Built in 1740s as a lo lookout for approaching war vessel. What is the name of the fortress Barbuda with a unique sugar mill appearance? That's Martella Tower. Martella Tower. Yep. Which month is considered the peak of the frigate? December. The bird mating December. season. January, August, December. June, December. <laughs> Besides Barbuda Bells, what other accommodation is located in Barbuda? Cottages, right? Yes, cottages. Uh, what was renamed after Princess Diana? A beach. The beach. Okay. Barbuda is named for. Which month is considered the peak of the bird mating season? January, December, August, December, December. December. <laughs> All right, thank you. Sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Barbuda is known for its succulent, spiny. Uh, is the it lobster. lobster? Lobster. Oh man. What was the lookout vessel again? Montolo. 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 Okay. Uh, well, Barbuda is home to beautiful beaches. It offers a unique opportunity to encounter the blank beach. See? What is it? Uh, oh. <clears throat> that question. Is it pink, uh, pink. golden, volcanic, pink. or pink, white? Pink. pink. Okay. Thank Wanted. you. Yeah. There are several ways to get to Barbuda from Antigua. Which of the options are correct? 
I think it's they all, put of, all of them. All of them. Yeah. Thank you. Barbuda has a series of caves, including an expert. Bat caves. Bats. Yep. The male. All right, I got one more. War for birds. Right there. Yeah, it's true. Did you say someone? No, I said you should look because those are your clothes that you took. Uh, being the first of its kind in the Caribbean, Barbuda Ooh, is Nobu. to the ultra exclusive Nobu. restaurant brand called Nobu. Nobu. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Thank Nobu, you. Nobu. Built in the 1740s as a lookout for approaching war vessels. What is the Martello. name? Martello. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Let's see what we got. Woohoo! 100%. Yay. Thanks, guys. All right, everybody pass. Mm -hmm. Now let's see where we're going to put our clients. <laughs> All right, yep, let's move on again. Congratulations. All right, so now where to stay? Where are we going to put our clients? All right, variety of guest houses, villas, hotels, and resorts in Antigua and Barbuda to meet the needs of every kind of traveler, whether they be single traveling business person, families, couples, and our groups. There are more than 2,500 rooms available in the luxury, mid-market, and budget categories. Antigua and Barbuda um, arguably have the highest density of boutique luxury resorts in the Caribbean. They are beautiful. They are beautiful properties with all the amenities that are usually available on European as well as all-inclusive plans. There are also um, AI international brands that take the hassle out of planning meals and finding places to eat and drink while on vacation. As an Antigua Barbuda specialist, you will be aware of the range of offerings available to match the client's budget and taste. <clears throat> there are guest houses, private villas available for long and short-term stays. Country's nautical tradition also makes a splash into the accommodation sector, offering a unique opportunity for clients to stay on yachts through charters. This can be coupled with novel nautical experiences such as sailing, diving, and fishing lessons. Those yearning for a more outdoor experience have the option of immersing themselves in one of our glamping accommodations. Also opportunities for authentic camping on one or many deserted beaches, particularly Sea Force Beach, Rendezvous Bay, Bay Beach, and Two Foot Bay Barbuda. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, there are reward programs, training directly available for a number of hotels and resorts on the island. Recommend taking time to familiarize yourself with these offerings to ensure you maximize the benefits of being an Antigua Barbuda specialist. You have American Airlines, Apple Leisure Vacations, FunJet, and Travel Impressions in United. So again, you can book these all through VAX, guys. Expedia, TAP, GoGo, Travel Island Destination, JetBlue. And as you see, all these, along with other wholesalers, offer package to this destination. Rental escapes, villas of distinction, also highlight the villa product on the island. Antigua Barbuda Hotel and Tourism website is an excellent resource site, which can also be used to learn about the destination accommodation. So here's a map of everything available. So as you see, a lot more availability in Antigua, but there are some over in Barbuda. Um, plethora of resorts, many options range from all-inclusive to tranquil cottages, 200 to 400 room properties, boutique style, 100 rooms or less, modest to luxury adults and couple resorts, family friendly and breathtaking villas. Something for everyone. All right, good. Moving on. Let's get, get her done. Properties in Antigua and Barbuda all target the mid-market. I guess I would say true. It's for everybody, right? Is it mid market for everybody? What do you guys think? Because they said it's for everybody. Yes. Okay. There are a variety of guest house, villas, hotels, resorts in Antigua and Barbuda to meet the needs of all of the above. Mm -hmm. Beyond hotels and resorts, there are blank available for short term or long term rentals. Villas and guest house, right? 
<laughs> properties in Integra and Bermuda are carried by some Canadian wholesale tour operators, brands such as Air Canada, WestJet Vacation, Sunwing Vacations, and... That's the one I'm looking for. I have no idea. I think it's Insight Vacations. Because right. Air Canada, WestJet, and Sunwing are together, right? And then Insight. I think mm -hmm. it's a good one. Okay. I searched this article and it didn't come up, so I don't know. It's travel brands. It is travel brands. Okay, we'll try that. Thank you. Yes. Following mostly deserted beaches are popular spots for authentic camping, except hmm. I mean, it said glamping, not camping, right? Should we say all the above? I thought those were the beaches that they talked about. Oh, all, all the above, the above. From camp. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because they said um, camping on one of our many de desert beaches, popularly seafood, seafood beaches, the Renovus Bay Beach, and two foot bay bar yeah, beautiful. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> Antigua and Barbuda arguably have the highest density of blank in the Caribbean. I think it was the boutique luxury, wasn't it? It is. Thank you. Antigua and Barbuda have a wide variety of guest house, villas, hotels, resorts, catering to luxury, mid-market, and budget categories. True. Wide variety. I mean, I know Antigua has a wide variety, but, but I think they said we have, they have, or should we say, no, yeah, true. I'm going to say true. Which quartet of wholesale tour operators sell Antigua and Barbuda? It's three. Okay. Whoop, done. Let's check it out. Ba, ba, ba. I failed. Oh, no, yeah. I so, passed. So I passed. The, the so property is, is false. That was false. All right. Properties is not for the mid market. Okay. All right. So that's false. All the above is false. What the heck? Guess has to meet the needs of. Wow. There's only eight questions. I got one wrong. Yeah, I wonder why this is, because what is the variety of guest houses then meet the needs of what? What's correct? Oh, I, guess that long too. I guess families. <laughs> I thought it was couples. Okay. Did anybody get it's, these right? It's, it's literally the first line. It says, there are a variety of guest houses, villas, hotels, and resorts in Antigua and Barbuda to meet the needs of every kind of traveler. Yeah. So what's so Travel no, families, couples, or and or groups. There are more than twenty five hundred rooms available in the luxury, mid market, and budget categories. So it should be all of the above. Okay, good. Well, at least we got it right. I mean, we got we passed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anybody have any different questions? The following mostly deserted beaches are popular sports for authentic camping, except. Seaforth's Beach, Rendezvous Bay Beach, Two Foot Bay, Barbuda, or all of the above? It's um all of the above. The unique option of staying on a yacht can be coupled with what type of natural experience? All of the above. Which okay. quartet of wholesale tour operators sells in Antigua? Number three. Three. Air Canada Vacations, West Jet. Yeah. Morning. Can you go up, please? Yep. The option of glam yep. glamping is available in Antigua and Barbuda for persons yearning that styles of accommodation. True, right? True. True. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about beyond hotels and resorts? There are, is it villas and guest houses, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Property in Antigua and Barbuda are carried by some. Canadian wholesaler store operator brands such as Air. Somebody give the answer travel before. Brands. Travel, travel brands. Travel brands. Yeah. Thank you. 
is the following mostly deserted beaches is that all of the above i remember when Des- right that's two foot there those are the uh popular spots right yeah all of the above yeah. okay thank you which quartet of old sales store operators sells antigua number three let me see yeah, Canada Vacation, WestJets, and Wing and Travel Brands. And the variety of guest house, villas, hotels, and resorts are all of the above, correct? Uh, well, Families grouping is. Listen, well, we all put all of the above and got it wrong. <laughs> got it wrong. Oh. Yeah. Even though so it is true, the right answer. Group based on the words. So. <laughs> put families and see what that says. I don't know. The property in Antigua and Barbie will all target the mid-market. Anybody had that question? What was it? Say it again. The properties in Antigua and Barbuda, Barbuda all target the mid-market. False. That, yeah, that's that's what I got wrong. It is false. Okay. Thanks. What about the density one? Uh, Antigua and Barbuda arguably have the highest density. Oh, of... that's boutique and luxury resorts. Yeah. Okay, I'm making sure. Yeah. Number one. Are the um the properties is it the is it it's not Thomas Cook is it Thomas Cook? Mm, properties no. and, and travel, no, brands. travel brands. Okay, thank you. I'm glad you guys are hanging out with me. We got 37 right. <laughs> The option of glamping is available in Antigua and Barbuda for persons yearning that style of accommodation. True, True false, both or none. True. 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 Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Uh, which quartet? What was that one? Number three. Uh, yep, yeah, Air Canada. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he was a wide variety of guest houses, built hotels. That was true. Yeah. There are blanket bills for short term and long term. So, so, beyond hotels and resorts, there are blank available for short term to long term rents. What was that? Um, right here, uh, the villas. Houses. Yeah, yeah. Was it the villas and guest houses? Yes. <clears throat> okay. And the moment of truth. <laughs> Let's do this. What'd you get? <laughs> uh, I got seven out of eight. I'm happy with that. Yay. <laughs> I. I want to know what they put for answer for like the, you know, the villas and the guest houses and the couples. And I want to know what they. I use families and I got it wrong. So all of the above was wrong. Families was wrong. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a. The world may never know. It yeah, it's probably they try number to trick one. us and then they trick themselves because they don't put the right answers. So. <laughs> yeah, it's like in the very first paragraph, too, that all, all of those. Exactly. Right? And families, so couples, and groups. All right. Three more, guys. Let's finish this up. Romance. All right. Blissful islands of Antigua and Barbuda provide perfect setting for weddings, honeymoons, couples, getaway. Twin Island State has been recognized repeatedly as one of the greatest destinations for romance, achieving multiple titles from the World Travel Awards, including Caribbean's most romantic destination, Caribbean's leading honey honeymoon <laughs> destination, and the world's leading honeymoon destination. So why is Antigua and Barbuda so romantic? Maybe it's due to the breathtaking vistas, the warm orange and purple glow of the island sunset, steel pan music under the starry sky, or maybe it's a beautiful inviting weather and the vibe of the people that is guaranteed to lift your spirits. Whatever the reason, there's no denying that Antigua and Barbuda is the romance capital of the Caribbean. 
romantic activities. Any couple looking for quality time to connect need not look no further. With so many beaches to choose from, it is easy to find a quiet one where alone time can be had. Barbuda's shore features an alluring pink sand um, beach, which could be perfect backdrop for the couple's picnic. Those wishing to admire the beautiful landscape of the islands can try a catered daytime or sunset cruise on a catamaran or a horse ride along the beach. Couples can also indulge in a private Caribbean cooking class, private island tour, walking food tour, or guided history tour around Nelson's Dockyard. Finished at the famous Shirley Heights, just in time for sunset. Animal lovers can now swim with miniature pigs. I did that. I did that. Visit the Frigat uh, Bird Sanctuary on Bermuda. Bermuda or even feed wild stingrays at Stingray City. With Antigua and Barbuda's abundance of restaurants serving international cuisine prepared by world-class chefs, romantic dinner for two is just waiting for you to say when. End the night with music and dancing at many of the open air bar and clubs in St. John City, English Harbor, Jolly Harbor, along Dickinson Bay, where locals stay over, guests and yachties <clears throat> jammed live bands and DJs into the early morning hours. How about getting married in Antigua? It goes saying that it goes without saying that any one of the 365 beaches will make the most beautiful breathtaking backdrop for tying the knot. Cottage industry of wedding businesses has cropped up in Antigua and Barbuda uh, from cake makers, florist caterers, makeup artists to photographers. Pretty much every vendor a couple um, needs to make their day special can be found on the island. Once the knot is tied, there are several luxurious honeymoon accommodations available for newly married couples to start their lives together blissfully. To qualify for marriage license in Antigua and Barbuda, a couple must, and this is probably a test question, be 18 years old, be currently unmarried, have valid passports, present documentation uh, where necessary, which is a divorce decree, a marriage and death certificate, or affidavits for name change. Couples must pay a license and registration fee to the Ministry of Justice and Legal Affairs and provide the date, time, and venue of the wedding, which must take place between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. Maybe take a picture of this. In the presence of a witness, <clears throat> are a total of... Um, a oh, uh, total of presence of a witness for weddings outside the courthouse, an additional fee for the wedding officer will apply. All fees included are a total of $440. This covers the U.S. $40 registration fee, $150 marriage license, and $250 marriage officer fee. Visitors staying at certain resorts can even qualify for a free wedding, so it is always a good idea to check with your local hotel. Um, again, $440 get married, cheap, 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 right? In a beautiful resort. All right, let's take a quick look. Romance is back. I'm gonna put my speed on fire because we're running a little bit hot. I should tell my son, Romance is back. Romance is back. Romance is back. Romance is back, and we welcome you to the most romantic place on earth. Come, write your own love story in Antigua and Barbuda. Memories together are created to last a lifetime. Imagine a wedding amidst 365 white sand beaches in the Caribbean's most romantic destination, Antigua and Barbuda. Famous for spectacular venues, breathtaking views, and charming allure, your wedding in paradise is enchanting and carefree. From the moment you arrive, specialized professionals make tying the knot simple. Just be 18 years or older, have a valid passport, and pay U.S. $37 registration fee at the Ministry of Justice and Legal Affairs. For ceremonies outside the courthouse, there is an additional fee of U.S. $100 for a marriage officer. The wedding must take place between the magic hours of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the presence of two or more witnesses. There is no waiting period to get married. Other requirements and fees may apply in certain circumstances, but here, we make it easy for you. From the shoreline of a secluded beach to the bow of a luxury yacht, private villa or hotel, to the scenic spots or historic church. Envision your perfect wedding in paradise with the pizzazz of an exotic and distinct Antigua and Barbuda experience. 365 of the Caribbean's most extraordinary beaches is just the beginning. All right. 
and carefree. Almost For the moment done. to arrive, specialized professionals make time. Hey, come on. Come on. Rich testing. With what? With her towels. There's um, a bunch of towels on the floor. Uh, yeah. Throw them all together? Yeah. Um, okay, breathtaking vistas, the warm orange and purple glow of an island sunset, steel pan music under a starry sky, beautifully, beautiful, inviting weather and a vibe of the people are some of the reasons Antigua and Barbuda is considered eco-friendly, quiet, romantic, peaceful. Romantic. Yeah. All right, one can acquire marriage license, even if their passport is expired. False. False. No false. Antigua and Barbuda has secured many romance-themed accolades at World Travel Awards, such as Caribbean's Most Romantic, Caribbean's Best Hideaway, Leading Honeymoon Destination. Can you say all the above? Well, I mean, I got it wrong, so I'm pretty sure it is all the above. Okay. I'm going to try it. <laughs> After a romantic dinner, couples can end the night with music dancing at one of the open-air bars and clubs around... All. All the above. Yep. Which of the following is a requirement to qualify for a marriage license in Antigua? High school diploma, no. Resident, no. Proof of entering, no. Presenting documentation, yep, mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. Which of the islands has pink sand beach? Thank you. Barbuda. 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 Thank you. Antigua and Barbuda is known as the romance capital of the Caribbean. Couples seeking romantic experience can try a catered blank cruise on a catamaran along with the West Coast. Sunset. Sun. Mm -hmm. License and registration fees and everything which are paid to the Ministry of Legal Affairs. Pertinent fees amount to 440. 440. Couples can find almost any vendor they will need for their wedding day on the island. Yes. True. All right, that was pretty easy. What other questions do you guys have? Oh, I missed one. I missed one. It is not all the above on this. So one. that so that's misleading because the <laughs> two that are on there are one and three. Okay. And I chose number two because it wasn't on there. So I was like, well, then it has to be all. So I don't know then. That's strange. <laughs> Can you pick more than one? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, at least maybe we pass. somebody can try. <laughs> yeah, try. Anybody else? have any questions that are not wedding here. ceremonies must occur between the hours of six and eight six and eight after a romantic dinner couples can end the night with music and dancing at one of the open air bars and clubs around all, all of them. them yeah that was all of them it is all okay thank you um, visitors staying at certain resorts can qualify for free for a free wedding Yes. Mm -hmm. True. Which of the following is requirement to qualify for a marriage license in Antigua and Barbie? The last one. For Press weddings outside document. the courthouse. And, okay. For weddings okay. outside the courthouse, an additional fee for a wedding uh, True. officer. Yes. Yeah. Visitors staying at certain resorts can qualify for a free wedding. True. Okay. This can try a catered. And Sega and Barbados have secured many romance themed accolades at World Travel Awards, such as. Um, that's we chose all the above, but they said it was wrong. So maybe try one or. We three. chose number. Yeah, we chose number two, and it was wrong. So try one or three. Uh, wedding ceremonies Can must occur down? between the hours of six and eight. Six and eight. Couple can find almost any vendor they will True. need. True. Wedding. True. Couple seeking a romantic experience can try a catered sunset. I think it's sunset. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, question. Can you scroll down one more? I need that question right there. Number uh -huh. nine. That one. Uh, for romantic dinner. 70%. Okay. For Tao's wedding, is it true? The answer was true. For what? The what wedding? For the wedding outside of the courthouse. 
Yes, the fee. Yes. Yes, it is true. Oh, uh, what's... uh, at their romantic dinner, couples can end the night with music and dancing at one of the All open the above. All, All the above, okay. Uh, license and registration fee along with all other parties. Part, 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 yeah, fee among two, which are paid to the Ministry of Justice and Legal Affairs. 440. Was it 420? 440. 440. 440. It has a high school diploma. <laughs> Which of the policies is a requirement to qualify for a marriage license? That's uh, uh, number four. All the uh, um, death certificate, birth certificate, wedding you know, certificate. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, uh, I'd say visitors staying at certain resorts can qualify for a free wedding. That's true, correct. right? True. Mm hmm I didn't get that uh, question, but that's great. I know. That's what I said. It's, you know, get get out there and uh, post that, guys. New okay. Year, our people got three, engaged. Because I picked uh, Caribbean's leading honeymoon destination. It's not three either. Stop. So it might be one. I don't know Must if anybody can. then. Yeah. The Antigua and Bermuda has secure mini rooms is the number one. Try one. It is one. Okay. Yeah, good. the romantic destination. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Everybody good? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's move on. Congratulations, guys. We're almost done. Adventures and thrill now. All right. Well, some envision a tropical vacation as hours spent lounging on the beach with a good book in hand, English Harbor rum punch in the next. Offer others prefer a bit more activity. When they get away, luckily Antigua and Barbuda offers several activities to get the blood pumping. So again, this may be something you may want to like save. So when you post your certificate, look at all this stuff you can do for you adventurous people. Antigua Bay, um, Antigua Rainforest Canopy, only zip line and rope adventure tour on the island. Um, has been safely operating over 10 years, located in the center of the island's rainforest, up to 13 zip lines and fun obstacle course. For those who love taking the unbeaten path, a safari jeep tour may be just what you need to see a different side of the destination. Buckle in as this wild ride takes you through muddy farmlands, towering cliffs for a view that will be 100% worth it. Those who'd like to take control might want to try the adrenaline-fueled um, off-road buggy tour. Exclusive activity offers an exciting way to see the island's countryside, culminating at one of the best hidden beaches. Um, in Barbuda, consider a hiking tour to the caves. Famous Darby Cave has a rainforest deep inside its center, while in Indian Cave, you can view petroglyph Drawings of the Ararat people. There's also Dark Cave, which has a pool of spring water within the depths. Again, this may be a test question. By sea, <clears throat> guests that are scuba dive, um, scuba certified or those willing to get PADI certification while on the island. Again, that's cool. They offer that. An entire undersea world awaits. Numerous dive shops on the island, many attached to hotels. Be sure to ask in advance what the diving options are. Otherwise, one of several independent dive operators on the island would be happy to take visitors to the best sites to see coral and tropical sea life. Kite surfing has grown in popularity here in recent years, with the country even having representation in the sport of the Youth Olympics. But you don't have to be a professional kite surfer to enjoy the beautiful winds of the Jabberwock Beach. Most popular spot on island to catch a wave, kite surfing school and rental shop are available for those looking for a thrill. In, excuse me, in Barbuda, there is Palmetto Point, which is popular with surfing enthusiasts. Barbuda, a bird watcher's paradise, is home to the must-see frigate bird sanctuary, only a boat ride up of the lagoon away. In the air, there are a few things more breathtaking than a bird's eye view on the island from a helicopter. Calvin Air provides island tours of Antigua, neighboring Mont Montserrat's active volcano and charters to Barbuda for up to six passengers. Don't miss a second of the exhilarating paragliding tour conducted by Contours Antigua. 
First, you take a hike up to the launch site, get strapped into the glider harness with the pilot, and then it is lift off for 20 subline minutes of gliding across the scenic Antiguan countryside. Don't forget to pack your GoPro, and for tours, please visit, visit Antigua Barbuda website. Let's do it. Almost done, guys. Thank you for hanging out. We get our certificates. Calvin Air provides island tours of Antigua, an active volcano on neighboring Montserrat, and charters to Barbuda. True. Blank Cave is located in Barbuda and is a home of spring water in it. Which one was that? Darby. Dark no, cave. sorry, dark. 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 Thank you. Full zip line tour experience is only limited. Is only limited the 13 zip lines. The answer oh. is not the true one. I can tell yeah. you that now. Yeah, because um, I think they said they had other things to do there besides that. But we'll see. Adventure seekers looking for land-based experience will have the option of all of the following except bungee jumping, right? I didn't see bungee jumping. Anybody else? Yeah, that sounds right. I didn't see that either. All right. While on Barbuda, one can see remnants of petroglyph drawings once they visit the blank cave. Indian. Okay. For the scuba enthusiasts, there are opportunities available on the island for visitors to become PADI certified. That is true. That's what they pointed out. Helicopter tour has a maximum capacity. Wasn't it six? Six. Six. For those who love taking the unbeaten path, a blank might be just what they need. That was the safari, safari. jeep, right? Mm -hmm. And blank is a popular area on Barbuda for kite surfing. So who was that? Mm. It's not number four. Yeah, what? It's for kite surfing, it's Palmetto. Point. Palmetto. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. And last but not least, the adrenaline-fueled off-road tour offers an exciting way to see the countryside while culminating at one of the Antigua's best hidden beaches. Buggy the tour. Buggy tour. All right. Let's do this. One more, guys. One more. All right. 10 out of 10. Anybody got any different questions? There's an opportunity to paraglide in Antigua and Barbuda with Adventure, Antigua, Contours, Antigua. Rainforest contours. Yes. contours. Thank you. Uh, for the scuba enthusiasts, there yep. are opportunities. Yep. True. True. Okay. Thank you. Anybody had an answer for the scuba and trap? That was a question you just asked. There are opportunities yes. available on the island, right? True, right? Yes. Yes. Full zip line tour experience is only limited to 13 zip lines. Mm -mm. Yeah, it was oh, false. I think false. it was false. Yeah. Uh, which island is considered a bird watcher's paradise, providing bird. a unique window? The Great Bird Island, Barbuda, Green Island, or Pelican? Barbuda. Barbuda. Barbuda? Yes. The most popular area of Antigua to catch waves is Pigeon, Long Bay, Jolly, or Jabberwock. Jabberwock. Thank adventure you. Seeker is looking for, la, adventure Seeker is looking for a land-based experience. What was the answer? Somebody bungee had jumping. Bungee jumping, okay. Yep. In Barbuda, the blank has a force deep in the center. Oh, I think uh, that was going to be. Forest? Is it rainforest? It's Darby. Lighting? Yes, Darby. Darby. Oh, it's Darby. Okay, thank you. Uh, which cave is located in Barbuda and it has a pool of spring water in it? The dark cave. Dark. Okay. While on Barbuda, one can see remnants of <laughs> petroglyph Indian. Indian cave. Okay, thank you. The helicopter tour has a capacity of six. 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 Okay. While in Barbuda, one can see the remnant of the Indian. Trophy. 
Indian. Okay. Adventure seekers seeking for a land-based experience will have the option of all the following except bungee jumping. Bungee bungee jumping. jumping. Okay. There is an opportunity. The to most popular buy. area. <laughs> Go ahead. Both of you are Go ahead, whichever. Go ahead. Go ahead. So the one who is going to talk about the most popular area is Jabberwock Beach. That's the answer to you. Jabberwock Beach. Thank you. I couldn't pronounce that. I was thinking Jabberwocky from. That's what I think of too. Jabberwocky. Yes. There is an opportunity to glide in Antigua and Barbuda with contours. Contours, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. And the maximum capacity for the helicopter tour yes. is that six? six? Yep. Six. Okay. Thank and you. Bermuda, the blank has the forest deep in the center. Yep. Darby. Darby. Calvin Air. Calvin Air Provider. Oh, no, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, you're going to say the same thing I'm about to say. Go ahead. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Thank you. Okay, thanks. For right. those taking the, the beach. area on Bermuda for kite surfing. Kite surfing? Kite surfing. Kite surfing. Marnie had that question. Yeah. Right here. Um, Palmetto. Thank you. You're for welcome. those who love taking the unbeaten path, a blank might be Safari Jeep. Okay. Got that wrong, darn it. And then we already, I know we already said this, but um, the far as deep is Darby. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are definitely going to be experts. We all got to go now. <laughs> I have a question. Um, what about um, you guys, the one where it's talking about the island for like the bird watching one? It says, which island is considered a bird watcher's paradise? Barbuda. It was Barbuda. Bar okay. okay, cool beans, right on. Thank you. And then for paragliding um, opportunities, what which answer was that? Was that the Read contour? The what is was it the question? Contour. Uh, contour, I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. contour. Paragliding, okay. Yes, contour. Thank you guys. I they mixed up all these questions. That's too funny. <laughs> like I said, that's why, it, you know, if you try to do this on your own, you'd be retaking it over and over again, right? <laughs> seriously <laughs> well i kept on retaking it this is my first time catching up with you guys i mean i got in like a little bit 30 minutes after it so I'm like right now I just caught up with you guys okay. so it was good yeah, yeah it is really easy kind of like doing it with the group but i found i'm, I'm yeah. with y'all now <laughs> all right perfect well That's we have cool. one more left and then we'll get our certificate so again thank you guys for hanging out everybody good you passed yes ma'am yes, ma all right who wants a spa treatment rejuvenate you know you've had a great vacation when you return home feeling like the very best version of yourself whether you call it self-care or wellness Antigua and Barbuda are have many options to help you begin maintain or enhance a healthy lifestyle while on vacation natural features of the island make them ideal for restoring that internal harmony Low density development, lush greenery, great weather all year round. Just physically being in Antigua and Barbuda makes a huge difference in your mood and disposition. I mean, walking off that plane and seeing the beautiful forest and water, right? It's like, ah, I'm in heaven. All right, Barbuda is a great location for those really looking for the space to rebalance their mind, body, and spirit. One of the more preserved and untouched islands in the Caribbean. Time moves slowly in Barbuda, and we are reminded of the simple joys of life. Activities, Antigua is home to numerous gyms, both of hotels and externally, which are fully equipped for visitors' fitness needs, so there is no need to put your workout routine on hold while vacationing. Many hotels and resorts have spas on property staffed by trained professionals offering a world-class menu of services, massages, facials, body wraps, and hot stone treatments. They can do it all. Yoga studios have been sprouting up in Antigua recently, and today at least one is located in the major tourist hubs of St. John's, Jolly Harbor, and English Harbor. Certified instructors are available to help you find your balance. Visitors who are just as concerned about taking care of the environment as they are their bodies can enjoy several low-impact outdoor activities such as biking tours, 
nature hiking, kayaking, paddleboarding, all available to be booked through hotel concierge mm -hmm. or directly with tour operators. Food, vacation doesn't have to be all booze and high caloric food, often uh, up to date with global trends. Antigua and Barbuda have been seen uh, much growth in the healthy eating space in recent years. While Rasta Ital food, essentially vegan, have been a part of the local cuisine for decades, a growing number of vegan, vegetarian, and keto options have popped up. Be sure to let your hotel or restaurant know of any dietary needs. Also visit to the farmers and vendors at the St. John's Public Market for locally grown vegetables and fruits is a must. Accommodations visitors can be confident that their accommodations are upholding internationally best practices of sustainability with the Ministry of Tourism Green Tourism Initiative. This program is aimed at improving the efficiency and reducing their environmental impact of hotel um, <clears throat> operations. Properties are assessed yearly and those that meet the ministry standards are awarded a Green Tourism Certificate. Certified properties include Kiana Beach, Coco's Tra Hotel, Trade Winds Hotel, and Catamaran Hotel. For more Green Hotel or Antigua Barbuda, visit, visit AntiguaBarbuda.com slash Green Initiatives. Again, guys, congratulations. We're on our last one. And as I said, I won a free trip, okay? Always pay attention because you're going to get a lot of uh, exciting stuff sent to you. Pay attention. Um if they have a training, because they do drawings, okay? All right, spas in Antigua and Barbuda offer world-class menu of services, free pedicure on entry, both or none of the above. I think they're world-class of service, right? I didn't see a free pedicure. Right. Where can you find yoga studios in Antigua? All the above, right? Farmers are usually at the public market. <laughs> I would probably say true because, you know, but did they say that? I mean, I know they talked Our about fresh fruits. Huh? We'll try it. Green Tourism Initiative is aimed at improving efficiency and reducing the environmental impact at hotels. Rebalance your Blank and blank and spirit and barbie, barbie, mind, yeah. body, mind, body, and spirit. One of the more preserved untouched islands in the Caribbean is Barbuda. Correct. Antigua and Barbuda have limited options to help you maintain, I would say, false. They have a lot of options, right? Yoga is offered on island, but there are no certified yoga instructors. I'd say false. Number of vegan, vegetarian, keto can be found. True. And Antigua and Barbuda only has one yoga studio. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing on these, but I think... Definitely I false. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it out. <clears throat> 10 out of 10. Yes. All right. Did everybody pass? Does anybody have other questions? I think I missed the under the Ministry of Tourism Green Initiative, visitors can be confident that their accommodations are upholding international best practices of best act, beach access, spear fishing, sustainability. I think it's, oh. I'm pretty sure it's sustainability. sustainability. Yeah. Sorry. The diet's synonymous with the Rasta faith is called. It's the the first one uh, on islands offer each of the following except um you have massage facial in spa dining oh the dining in the dining right dining mm -hmm. do you yes. have some no. more impact outdoor activities you can book in antigua and barbuda except except skiing skiing oh, yeah that was my question thank you Oh, yeah, duh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Under the Ministry of Tourism, Green Hello. Initiative, Hello. visitors can be confident that the accommodation are uphold then in sustainability. Okay. Can somebody tell me uh, the name of the public market? The name um, of the public market? Yeah. What are the options? St. John's Public Market. Thank okay. You. Thank you. <laughs> 
The preserve uh, untouched island. Is it true or false? The what? Preserve untouched island. Barbuda is true. You can book wellness activities through blank or with blank. The oh. tourist board and locals, the airline and flight attendant, concierge and tour operators. Right. Concierge or directly with tour operators. Okay. And Tammy, it's number four. You can find yoga studios in Antigua. Oh, it's is it all of the above or is it just? Yeah, is it okay, John, or is it all of the above? What's the question? Where, Where can, you, can you find yoga studios in Antigua? Mm. Uh, in St. John, Valley Harbor, and English Harbor. Oh, so all of the above. Okay. The natural features of the island make them ideal for restoring the natural, I'm sorry, restoring the internal the harmony. Internal, mm -hmm. Okay. The natural feature of the island makes them ideal for restoring, restoring internal harmony. Yeah. Thank you. And under the Ministry of Tourism, Green Innovative, visitors can be confident that their accommodations sustainability. Are Thank you. The diet synonymous with the rest of faith is called. It's Tao, I think, the, the first one. Do you guys know about Thank the you. hotels? When it was like the hotels that meet the green initiative standard around awarded or awarded. Wow. Um, okay. Okay. What what was that answer? It's false. false. Okay, false. Okay. You can book wellness activities through blank or with blank. The tourist boards, locals, the airline flight attendant, the concierge tour operators, or Antigua Barbuda website, and taxi concierge. drivers. <laughs> concierge and tour operators. Concierge, thank you. Did you guys the know diet. about the, sorry, okay. I didn't mean to cut you off, about the diet symptoms? Oh, that's some questions about that. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know the answer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the question? The diet. Uh, oh, it's all. The first one. Oh, it's okay. It's all. Um, okay. The Ministry of Tour Tourism has what initiative? Is it the Green Tourism Initiative? It is a green, I had that question. It is a green something. Green, okay. green yeah. tourism yeah. initiative. Yeah. Great. Mine's just spinning. Yeah, mine is spinning too. Like it just said it failed. And I know I got a hundred. I know. That's what it said mine too. I'm like, what do you mean? I, I got it right. Probably so probably overwhelmed now because we all passed. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can book. Uh, wellness and activities through is it the concierge and tourist uh, operators? Yeah. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, it made me log out. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I'm wondering what mine's gonna do. It's still spinning. Yeah. It, so what happens is, I guess it timed out, so it makes you, I guess, go back in and I don't you know. Have to the uh, I'm gonna go back. Coming out loud. I got my certificate on my email. Yeah, look how beautiful oh. it is, guys. I'm glad you said that because I was looking like, well, I was looking everywhere too. You also go, can go right here up to your profile. Oh, so go to oh profile look at all and my certificate. Uh, okay, well, let me go back. Oh, all of them are in my email. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you turkey. Okay. I'm just Making me sign back in. <clears throat> okay. Um. Preserving our future green tourism. Green tourism initiative. I have a question for you, Marnie, really uh -huh. quickly. When these um, vendors give like logos, do you ever do anything with the logos? You're supposed to put them like on your, like if you have an email, like, um, you know, oh, your that's way signature. too much. Your email signature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, that's way too I, many. I'm not creative like that. I have. I mean, I will many. only use those if somebody like booked it and you can just throw it on at the bottom, be fancy. But I mean, it's not nothing to. Yeah, because yeah, if you're need. gonna put all the yeah. cruises, everything, you know, and a lot of them offer it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to like, oh my god, you know, your 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 signature line will be this big. <laughs> so, but um, but yeah. So again, congratulations, everybody. Um. Let me know if everybody passed and let me know if you need help with anything. Um, as you see here, I'm going to go here and post my certificate because, again, you want to let people know. So let's go ahead and see. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be doing Alaska Expert. They give away a cool, cool um, uh, certificates and stuff. So if you want to join us for that, that is under one source. Um, so um, you have to make sure you're part of that. Hello this morning. Oh, sorry. Um, guys, I have a, a silly question. When the certificate opens, you know how it opens in like an Adobe reader or something? Uh -huh. Like, I don't even know how to take it out of there. <laughs> it doesn't say to download. I it. usually just do a right click and save or I download it or I um, like I just printed it to my desktop. So I tried to make me take it over. I can't. Do you know how to take a screenshot? Hello. Plus, it should be on your email too. You can always oh, it in the email. Yeah, it's better off to use um do your email and then just download and save it because I have that problem with my my um yeah like desktop. A it depends what you you know how they download it and like it's just weird. But yeah, well, congratulations, everybody. Yes, congratulations again. Thank you all for attending. Hope you guys learned a lot. Hope you guys use this and and share now. You know, on on um, your social media, letting people know. You never know who's ready and and the weddings, especially guys. A lot of people got engaged um, for New Year's, so get out there and folk and tell them you can get a free wedding. Let me know, okay. <laughs> Um, thank you so much. Congratulations. You're welcome. Also, I'll see if we see anybody for the Evo Chris or birthday party this weekend. Um, Saturday, we're doing Charisma Hotels. So if you want to learn about Charisma Hotels, we're starting that on Saturday. All my trainings are recorded and put on um, uh, my YouTube. Okay. So if you miss any, if somebody does um, jump out and, and they didn't know how to finish it, let them know and we will make sure to, you know, that they finish up. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Marty. Uh-huh. They made me take it over. So uh the diet cinemas with the rast of faith is called what? It's all. Yeah, they made me take it over. <laughs> okay. What was the answer? It's all. Okay. It's all. Okay, thank you. You got it? Yeah. Perfect. All right. That's perfect. Anybody else? Again, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Marty. Ask you're welcome. Thank you guys. That's Have a great funny. day. Have a great evening. Um you too. looking you forward so tomorrow again if you want to join me for Princess mm -hmm. Alaska or Saturday for Charisma, I'll see you then. Oh, what's that? Is it same time tomorrow? Yep, 10 o'clock, we do it. I do it Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, at 10 p.m.? 10 a.m. Uh -huh. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All so, right. uh, what, Marty, what's the time are you in? Uh, Pacific. Okay, so that's um, 12 Central. Okay, cool, yeah. sorry. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So we'll see you guys all then um, tomorrow, maybe. Otherwise, um, I'll, I always say we're in business for ourselves, but not by ourselves, guys. So again, congratulations. Um, have a great happy new year. Let's uh, kill it. Let's get our business going. Get out there and post. Let people know that you've got these amazing deals and stuff and you can book it for them. Okay. <clears throat> all right. We'll talk to you guys soon again. Um, thank you. Thank you for helping. I appreciate it. Again, teamwork makes the dream work, right? <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. I'll talk thank to you. you. Bye, Marty. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Have a good Bye. day. Bye. Bye. Hello.